They don't come more colourful or controversial than John Nassif. He's a property tycoon we've exposed in the past for building substandard apartment blocks. Now he and his daughter Ashlyn are caught up in a multi-million dollar fraud investigation. And while she's been charged, the big question is, where's John? Ashlyn, Steve Marshall from the current affair. She's the princess bride-to-be lawyer facing jail time. Do you have anything to say about the charges? He's her wealthy property king dad, gone MIA. John Nassif. And this dad-daughter duo are at the centre of a multi-million dollar criminal fraud investigation. 150 million is a very serious matter. It's probably one of the highest that I've ever heard of. Could this opulent family empire finally crumble? Premier came through here. And Premier, why yeah. is the leader of our biggest state escaping the heat in the kitchen? There goes the Premier right there. Ashlyn? Ashlyn Nassif doesn't usually shy away from the camera lens. She presents a public profile of brains and beauty. Admitted as a solicitor in New South Wales in 2018, Ashlyn Nassif's had a meteoric rise. She's only in her mid-twenties, yet managing partner of her own firm, EA Legal, located in a plush downtown Sydney high-rise, which is locking down. Can I ask you a few questions about what's been sorry, happening I with Ashley and the Seif in the case? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Because right now, it's EA Legal boss Ashlyn Nassif forking out for top defence lawyers. This is all a bit unbecoming for you, isn't it? You're a lawyer, yet you're checking in on bail. A two and a half million dollar bail posted for Ashlyn Nassif after she was charged with serious fraud offences involving a staggering $150 million worth of property loans. The loans are directly linked to Ashlyn's controversial property developer dad, John Nassif, and his top place building company, according to police documents. Are you confident that your dad will be beside you and support you through this? Police allege John Nassif is a potential co-accused in the scheme. Nassif is not charged with any offence. He was out of the country when police charged his daughter. Is your dad shocked to learn that he's a co-accused? Police allege top place employee and contractor names were used on fraudulent pre-sales contracts to dupe Westpac on a $150 million credit application. Ashlyn, how many top place employees don't actually know they own a unit? The dad and daughter are targets of police strike force Kalul. Police will claim John Nassif admitted in secret phone taps the credit documents were fake. If they say they're purely not involved, but there's phone tap evidence that clearly indicates uh, the alternative, then that's going to be very strong evidence for the prosecution. Former detective Peter Moroni ran many successful criminal investigations during his two decades with New South Wales Police, including money laundering and corruption stings. To be able to calculate and then execute a $150 million fraud takes a lot of planning. It would take a lot of resources to be able to do that. It would certainly require, I would suspect, a fair degree of some sophistication wrapped around the methods that the person may employ to, to execute such a, uh, such a fraud. It's understood the $150 million extracted from Westpac was needed to complete Top Place's troubled billion dollar Skyview apartment complex in Sydney's northwest. It's one of a number of apartment blocks built by Top Place besieged by serious defects. An issue which first landed John Nassif on our radar several years ago. I love you, man. <laughs> John Nassif's bumpy road began with this bright coloured yellow Lamborghini in 2017. An extravagant birthday present stunt for his beauty pageant second wife, Nissi. Congratulations, Mrs. Nassif. Do you like? But flaunting his immense wealth while building substandard apartments for trusting buyers. We got a bonus hole in the floor there. There's probably more attracted right. unwanted attention. John Nassif, a current affair. You like? In December, New South Wales Fair Trading cancelled Top Place's development licence and banned Nassif for 10 years from holding a building licence. They've challenged the ban allowing the company to operate in the meantime. 
The controversy surrounding John Nassif has now swept through the New South Wales parliamentary corridors of power, right to the top, the Premier's office. Morning, Premier. How, how are you? Steve Marshall, the current affair. How are you? Very well, how are you? Good, thank you. You're in the neck of the woods of top place. Dominic Perrottet's staff organised this campaign photo opportunity just 100 metres down the road from Nassif's top place headquarters. The Premier's two brothers are embroiled in bribery allegations involving John Nassif. I'm not my brother's keeper, mate. Pardon me? I'm not my brother's keeper. Did you ever disclose that your sister-in-law did lobbyist work for Top Place? I wasn't aware of that. The question thus needs asking... MP Ray Williams used parliamentary privilege to open a Pandora's box. A New South Wales parliamentary inquiry was keen to talk to the Premier's brothers, John Claude and Charles, about allegations of planting pro-top place development councillors on a local council. The brothers never fronted. John Nassif denies the allegations, and this local cafe owner isn't about to spill the beans if the developer ever met Charles or John Claude Pirate here. Did this guy ever have coffee here? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm just asking you, did you ever see this boy? No, no, I don't know what you're talking did about. Did he ever meet with John Nassif here? We had more questions for the Premier, who's also just days away from a state election. But after arriving through the front door of this cafe... Sorry, mate, can't get past here. You're not in charge of Dominic dashed out the back oh, door. Reynolds, the Premier came through here? The Premier, yeah. When it comes to John Nassif, laying low appears to be commonplace. Over email, I asked John Nassif if he'd be prepared to do an on-camera interview with me. He responded by saying, this reporter's been instructed to deliver fake news. Well, John, I can assure you that our broadcasts are extremely accurate and the invitation for a chat remains open. It's understood John Nassif's recuperating in his birthplace of North Lebanon following a medical procedure. Will your dad actually come home? Australia doesn't have an extradition treaty with Lebanon. Former detective Peter Moroni outlines one possible theory behind investigators' strategy to arrest John Nassif's daughter, Ashlyn. The police have obviously arrested the person because they've got the reasonable grounds to do so, and that's why they've done that. That would, in turn, one would suspect for a father, if in daughter his daughter has been arrested, that the father would perhaps then come home uh, to assist her. Right now, Ashlyn Nassif's facing the music alone. Will your dad come home and help you out? Potential jail time, her career on the skids, and her upcoming wedding extravaganza in disarray. It appears John Nassif's little princess could do with a daddy knight in shining armour. Ashlyn, you can't speak to your father. Have you got a message for your father? It's up to John Nassif as to whether he saddles up and backs up his social media posts. To my daughter, never forget that I love you. Ashlyn Nassif's strict bail conditions prevent her from contacting John and therefore asking Dad if he's ever coming home. Ashlyn, you can talk to your father through our camera if you like. And Ashlyn Nassif is due to face court again tomorrow.